say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free in the heart Performing our national anthem, that was Skylar Cole. And now we'll be back in just a moment. Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. And tonight, it'll be the Charlotte Hornets going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Hi, everyone. Here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kello. I'm Brian Anderson, Ali LaForce, our reporter. Here's a look at some stats for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And he's gone cold over the last 10 games, guys. His scoring numbers are down, and he can't seem to get out of this rough patch. He's got to get himself going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. And the Oklahoma City starting five. In at forward, it's Jordan Williams. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Holmgren in at the five. And for the Hornets, Nick Richards out there with Miles Bridges. Then it's Miller. Then there's Trey Mann. Grant, a look into the future of the NBA tonight. These are two of the brightest young teams in the league. You know, when it's all said and done, B.A., these are squads that I expect to eventually play for titles. I mean, the talent is there. And, of course, it's all about gaining experience and gelling as a team. It'll be the Hornets off the tip. Pass to Richards. Bridges against Williams. Puts it up. A nice shot by Richards. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine, the way that scoreboard's going to light up. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander lifting off and hammering it down with all he's got. Gilgis Alexander defending. Bridges outside. Puts up a deep three. Sinks it. What range from downtown. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. To the middle. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's man. Giddy defends. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. A defensive play like that early in the game can go a long way. Establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Bridges. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's gotten his second bucket. Sweet looking jumper from the mid range. I mean, Gilgis Alexander just making it look easy. Three pointer, Bridges. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. To the paint. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Yeah, making the slam look second nature. Once Dort sees the launching pad, he's ready to take off. Bridges against Williams. Pass to man. Here's Miller. Now here's Bridges. Fires the three. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. 
Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Now here's Bridges. An effective score for them, scoring around 21 and a half points a game. Over Williams. Again, the miss by Bridges. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. It seems really frustrated. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. Williams passes to Dort. Five on the clock. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Yeah, total focus from Shea there. Ready to go off the feed. Pass to Miller. Can they get it? Knocks down the long J. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got seven. Screened by Holmgren. 11 feet out. Again, Oklahoma City. He's been perfect this quarter. They keep feeding him, and he keeps delivering. Pass to Bridges. Over Williams. And that's off the glass and in. Bridges has got five points. Bridges, in some ways, to me, is a throwback player. He's a 6'6 forward and does a little bit of banging down low. Actually, a lot of banging down low. Now here's Kitty. 17 points in his last outing. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got three assists now in this one. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Richards with a screen. Bridges against Williams. Bridges outside. Pass to man. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Fires from deep. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. Now here's Bridges. He's got five. Over Gilgis Alexander. Ooh, some solid defense from Gilgis Alexander. The Thunder have gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Pass to Holmgren. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Screen by Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Count that bucket. <laughs> How many young seven-footers have a floater game. I mean, Holmgren is just unreal. Pass to Miller. Here's Bridges. Fires the three. Gilchus Alexander with a rebound. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. Outside Giddy, back to Gilgis Alexander. Oh, sweet move. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here's man. No made baskets yet. Holmgren with the block. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. Alexander, first personal foul, first team foul. Gilgis Alexander defending. Here's the pick. Inside. Ooh, nice shot by Miller. Miller's got five. Yeah, I like whenever Miller uses his size to his advantage, especially down near the rim. Up top, Holmgren. Outside Giddy. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Fades. That one rolls around and rims out. Good shot, gone bad. 
got to finish there. His man, 11 feet out, and he hits it. Now just a three-point thunder lead. That was not an easy move, I mean, especially against that length. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. From deep giddy, Richards pulls it in. Charlotte's gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. Love the confidence from this young man. Miller is so quick off the catch. And Giddy has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Pass to Dort. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And, you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. And the Hornets making a change here. Mark Owens has checked in. Clark, when it comes to Charlotte, their roster skewed to the young side for a few seasons now. And that lack of experience is part of the reason they've struggled for a while now, B.A. Young teams inevitably must go through growing pains. Charlotte's had a tough time finding stability. Bridges, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Bridges passes to man. Shot clock at six. Pulls up. The wide open shot is on the money. Man's got his second basket. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 16. And they're one of the worst defensive teams in the league. Bottom third in terms of points against. They need to play with better effort on the defensive end. Charlotte trailing. Smith outside. Pass to Bridges. There's the three. Drains the triple. Bridges has got eight. <laughs> I just love the ball. Game. Oklahoma City has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Williams against Williams. Hornets with the rebound. They're coming off that loss against Portland. You know, in that game, it was just too much disparity in effort level between the two teams, especially on the glass. You know, I think that was the big difference in the game. One team was pounding the glass relentlessly, while the other team, not so much. And so it's Charlotte with it. Smith right side. Here's Richards. And here are the Hornets with another bucket. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Here's Wallace. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Celtics in Boston. And he gave them headaches with his defense. Constant activity at that end with four steals to show for. The Thunder with another miss. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Here's Williams. After the basket by Charlotte. To the inside, Hayward. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. An all-star back in 2017. Gordon Hayward remains a quality player, Clark. Yeah, you know, because of his versatility, I think it allows him to still be a high-level player, even now that he's not as ball-dominant as he was in Utah. He still contributes and does so effectively. misses. 
taking a look at the Charlotte Hornets, Clark, a team that has struggled to find their identity. And, you know, because of this, they've been very inconsistent, up and down. We've seen them be some good teams, B.A., but we've also seen them go on some bad losing streaks. He hits the second from the line. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. Pass to Bridges. Fires it from 18. No luck on that one. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. And he gets the bucket. Hayward, really an unselfish guy, willing to share the rock and get his teammates some opportunity. Charlotte's gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. Smith outside. Here's McGowan's from outside the arc. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Wallace, the pass to Williams. Williams, a screen on Smith. Back to Williams. Deflected! And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Smith finds Bridges. Here's McGowan's. Bridges outside. Six on the shot clock. The three is up. And that's up and in. Five for 12 in this game. And they've got the D reeling. A full three-point attack right off the tip. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. But over and back. So for the Hornets, four comes in for Richards. And Miller subbed in for Bridges. Wiggins, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Shea Gilgis Alexander comes in for Joe. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Miller. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Portland. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Wallace. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Five to shoot. Over Smith. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got 18 points in the game. And this is what makes SGA an all-star caliber talent. His ability to take over games. Miles Bridges has been on display for the Hornets. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points, leading the charge. We'll be right back with you shortly. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Charlotte. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. Yeah, also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. On the floor for Oklahoma City, getting going in the second. They've got Shea Gilgis Alexander, and it's Williams in at the five, roaming the paint. And the shot goes. Gilgis Alexander's got 20 points. And the D can't allow Gilgis Alexander to get this positioning, because once he does, he makes you pay. Williams up top. Williams defending. Miller, the pass to Smith. No good on the triple. 
And, and you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, Brian, the Thunder are making dramatic improvement. Shea Gilgis Alexander now an All-Star says they're gaining confidence. He said, quote, we know we're getting better. I think guys are kind of getting addicted to that feeling and continuing to grow. Brian, they could be building something really special here. Yeah, you're right. They could. Skipping no steps either. Thanks, Allie. And it's the Hornets with the ball following the bucket by the Thunder. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Pass to Smith. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Thirteen feet out. And it's Thor with a rebound. Charlotte's gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Pass to McGowan's. Down low. Williams in the post. Pounded by Wiggins. Williams' shot is good. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Gilgis Alexander feeling it out a bit. Ooh, tough finish inside by Gilgis Alexander. The Hornets with the lead. Now Smith hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Here's Miller. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. You know, when you look at Brandon Miller's skill set, this guy has the potential to be an elite scorer. And that's why so many are excited about him. A three-level scorer who possesses impressive length and a quick release. B.A., this kid is special. And he knocks down the first one. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. The Thunder making a switch here. Biombo's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. So, Grant, if you were a GM and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, B.A., I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella. He just got drafted. But the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. And I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. That one goes in. Miller's got 12 points. Determined to get through and finish. Miller already with flair in his first year. Wiggins outside. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Timeout call, the Hornets. The Thunder making a switch here. Only five games left to go, and then it's playoff time. Let's check in on the East. Taking a look at Charlotte, a really frustrating season for them. They're looking forward to the draft. And the Hornets with possession here. It's a three-point game. Six to shoot. Here's Miller. It's good from the top of the key. Miller's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, a sign of things to come, hopefully. I mean, once Miller gets going, he is capable of dominating games. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 26. Screen by Holmgren. 
Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Second chance effort. And the layup is good. Holmgren's got his second basket of the game. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Here's Miller. 14 points for him. The three. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. From the wing, the shot's good on the assist by Giddy. And it's now only a one-point Charlotte lead. Scoring the ball, he has been lethal and efficient. Wow. Here's Miller, guarded by Hayward. Here's Thor. Gilgis Alexander defending. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Yeah, just an excellent shot blocker. Holmgren is so good at using his length and timing to erase shot attempts. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. Well, Grand Hornets head coach Steve Clifford said that the team needs to start winning if they want to keep LaMelo Ball. And he's not wrong, B.A. I mean, they view Ball as the cornerstone of the franchise, but they have to give him a reason to stay. He is indeed a special talent, and winning is his ultimate priority. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Yeah, what's special about Gilgis Alexander is how shifty he is, which also makes it so tough on defenses. Richards is checked in for Charlotte. Williams is checked in for Oklahoma City. Lou Dort comes in for Hayward. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Gilgis Alexander defending. The three ball. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Holmgren's got four rebounds now. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Given 30. And with a pause in the action, let's check out the top shooting rookies from downtown this past month. You look at Miller. Boy, what a gifted shooter he is from way out there. He's been simply on fire from deep during this past month. He knows he's got the green light to fire from distance whenever he's given the opportunity. Just a high level of efficiency. That's the key. I mean, quality of shots he takes, but also his fundamentals. Um, anyone can host a launch party. This guy is consistent ATM. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. That one's no good. Here in the second period, he's made a concerted effort to attack and get himself to the line. Giddy defends. Pass to Miller. Shot to stop the run. That's basket number six in eight tries. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Outside Giddy. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The Hornets have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Here's Miller. 11 feet out. Holmgren with the block. Williams passes to Giddy. Up top, Holmgren. Back to Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Let's it fly. SGA working through contact inside. Yeah, and Gilgis Alexander is a fighter. Someone that challenges the defense and bullies his way through contact. And the Hornets call time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Boy, oh, he's been killing them all night, and the defense looks like it's practically packed it in. And something they benefit from a lot is more aggressive defense. They're in the bottom third of the league in steals, 
that's not a stat they take pride in. Bridges outside. Richards with a screen. The three is up. And Bridges is good for three. Bridges has got 16 points now. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Now here's Giddy. Still no points. Lays it up and banks it in. Giddy. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Charlotte has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. And here's Richards, providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. you got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Williams with the screen. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on Miles Bridges. I love when Gilgis Alexander looks to score because it forces the defense to act. Shooting for Oklahoma City, Shea Gilgis Alexander at the line for two. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. And so he hits both. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Following this game, they host the Magic. Pass to Bridges. And stolen by Williams. And here's Giddy. Back to Williams. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Give him 35. That's his second foul of the first half. Not a big deal yet, but something to keep an eye on. Number 22, Kaysen Wallace. Side. Pass to Holmgren. Just five on the clock. It's not going to go for him. Good work defensively by Richards. Screen by Bridges. Jacks up a three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Holmgren's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now Kitty. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. For Charlotte, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Pass to man. And there's the drive. Shot clock at five. To the paint. And the basket by Bridges. Bridges has got five points now this quarter. You know, that's a set that's comfortable for Bridges. I mean, he's got a good feel for the pick and roll, either as a creator or as a finisher. Williams passes to Wallace. Now here's Holmgren, covered by Richards. Holmgren inside. Richards is there. The Thunder with another miss. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Up top, Bridges. The 
the Thunder pull it in. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Two minutes. Now here's Giddy. The D's right on him. The kick out to Williams. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Here's McGowan's. He's averaging almost five points a game. Pass to Richards. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Take a break. Take a break. Richards. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Miller's checked in for McGowan's. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. And it's Holmgren missing. And, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, LaMelo Ball's shooting touch was questioned coming into the league, but it's been pretty steady. He said, quote, I think I'm a great shooter. I've had it since a young age. I feel every shot I take is going to go in, and my confidence is really high. He said, I practice these shots. It's all in the snap of the wrist and the follow-through. Brian? Ooh, very interesting. A flick of the wrist. Thanks, Ali. Good stuff. Pass to Dort. Now here's Giddy. 32 seconds left in the first half. Here's Wallace to win the drought. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got six assists here tonight. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Now here's Bridges. He's got 18. Takes a three. Drops in the three. Bridges has got 21. You know, since entering the league, Bridges has really worked tirelessly on his game, especially the three-point shot. And you see the results of that lately. And so it's Charlotte leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Back to the game after this. Put your hands together and get the Welcome. All right, guys, let's break it down. It has not been the ideal start for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're giving up too many threes. Got to extend their defense. Get out there and cover on the perimeter. Jeez. They look like Sack trying to guard me out there. Slow-footed and a step behind. And now, as the season winds down, a look at the Western Conference picture. You know, right now for the Thunder, they're in good position. Definitely among the top teams in the conference. And just as important as the seeding is how you're playing down the stretch. They're trying to dial it in. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime you know Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here guys 
through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Miles Bridges is out there with Miller. Then there's Nick Richards. Then there's Trey Mann. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Williams from long range. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists in the game. Gilgis Alexander defending. Bridges against Williams. Bridges misses. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Here's Holmgren. And again, it's Oklahoma City. Holmgren. Yeah, it's just too easy for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? Inside. Holmgren with the block. Bridges against Giddy. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Pass to Williams. Giddy against Bridges. Williams from long range. Hornets with the rebound. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Here's Mann. Giddy defends. Out to Bridges. And here's Richards. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Richards has got seven points in the game. Well, I tell you, Bridges is doing a nice job there. And his teammates appreciate when he looks to get them involved. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. Uses the glass on the layup. A nice start to the third. Three out of four. And looking good doing it. Alexander. Gilgis Alexander defending. Pass to Bridges. Driving in. It's Bridges on the wing. Here's Mann. Giddy defends. Mann misses. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Outside, Williams. Pass to Dort. Screen by Holgren for the lead. And Dort is good for three. So Dort's gotten his second bucket of the game. Dort has really improved this part of his game. Would love to see him shoot more often from out there. Here's Miller. Let's it go from the wing. Williams grabs the board. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Screen by Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. The shot comes out. Good work defensively by Richards. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Miller fires in the triple. Miller's got 20. And there's a reason Miller was a volume three-point shooter in college. Because he's extremely accurate. Outside Giddy. Now here's Gilgis Alexander, tightly guarded. Pass to Holmgren from 18 feet away. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Holmgren's got 10 points in the game. Here's Mann. Giddy defends. And here's Bridges. Here's Miller. Back to Bridges. The three. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got eight rebounds in the game. Giddy passes to Holmgren. That three's off the mark. The Hornets have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. 
Still just Alexander defending. Pass to Bridges. Here's Mann over Giddy. Mann misses. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Giddy. Bridges against Gilgis Alexander. The rebound by Mann. Mann's got four rebounds now. Gilgis Alexander defending. Up top, Bridges. Pass to Miller. Bridges against Williams. Bridges misses. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. There's that man, Gilgis Alexander. So tough to contend with his quickness. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. And also, I just love how they've been moving the ball side to side on the perimeter. Great passing, unlocking their offensive potential. Gordon Hayward, he's checked in for Dort. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And let's see now which rookies have been shooting the rock the best since the All-Star break. Third is Chet Holmgren. Only taking good looks. This first-year player is shooting it at a high clip since the break. Well, he's a really high-percentage shooter, and he also does a nice job of not allowing defenders to get into his head, and he doesn't allow himself to get rattled either. Charlotte is gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Here's Mann. Giddy defends. And there's the lob! A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Williams with the screen. Pass to Holmgren. Let's go with a three on target from range. Holmgren's got nine points now in the second half. Ah, uh, a superb three-point threat. When Holmgren is knocking down triples, he's hard to contain. Here's Miller, guarded by Hayward. Clock at six. Here's Richards. And that one is hammered home! And that's what you get from Brandon Miller. I mean, he can really whip passes there around the court. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. 37 points for him. Drilled from 11 feet out. Gilgis Alexander's got 39. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Gilgis Alexander defending. Stolen by Giddy. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. Here's Hayward. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. This happens night in and night out with Hayward. He does a terrific job of converting through contact. The Hornets making a switch here. Williams is checked in. At the line, one shot. What's up?
Charlotte trailing. Gilgis Alexander defending. The drive by man. He can't hit that time. Giddy with a defensive effort. Oklahoma City's gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Good work defensively by Richards. Charlotte has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Ooh, nice shot by Miller. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The Hornets making their last shot. Williams grabs the board. Well, the Hornets shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Gilgis Alexander defending. Williams, a screen on Hayward. Here's Miller. Trills the baseline jumper. And now just a three-point Oklahoma City lead. As a rookie, Miller is already a three-level scorer. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Williams from long range. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got seven assists in the game. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Checked in for Charlotte. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Williams is checked in. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Gilgis Alexander defending. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's the three. The Thunder pull it in. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. It has not been his game so far. I mean, he's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. Back to Gilgis Alexander. From down low, double team on Gilgis Alexander. Outside Giddy. Let's it go from deep. Hornets with the rebound. And just unable to get anything going tonight. I mean, his teammates have really bailed him out. Here's Williams. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Williams has gotten his second bucket. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Williams. Hayward finds Williams. Pulls up at the elbow. That one's good. And it's Hayward with the setup. Assist. Hayward's got three assists tonight. Yeah, you know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. Here's Miller. 26 points for him. We've got 123 left in the third. And their turnover rate has been way too high this season. They're in the bottom third of the league in fewest turnovers per game. They need to tighten things up. The line for the Thunder, Shea Gildas Alexander. Going to the line, shooting two. two. And the first one at the line is good. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Charlotte has gone one of four here in the third from range. Smith against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Miller. Knocks it down from distance. Miller's got 12 points in just the second half. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? 
Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And that one drops for him. He came out of halftime with renewed focus, heating things up offensively. Pass to Miller. Oklahoma City foul call. Joe's checked in for Oklahoma City. Personal foul. First team foul. Coming on to the floor for the Thunder. Number 11, Isaiah Joe. There's 42 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Smith passes to Williams. Here's Joe. Pass to Wallace. Hayward outside. To the inside. Out of bounds. It'll be Hornets ball. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. Charlotte has gone two for five from three since halftime. Smith outside. From deep. That shot, no good. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's mostly due to shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be right back after this word. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Charlotte trailing. And Oklahoma City looking at who they've got to start the fourth. They've got Gordon Hayward, and it's Wallace in at the two. Miller, the pass to Smith. No good on the three. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive, and they've been physical. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game, and that's helped them stake this lead. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Wallace. Puts up a three, and that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. And the Thunder lead by ten. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence impressive to see. Love the mentality there, I tell you. I know I've never coached. But, man, playing to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Wallace, the pass to Williams. Miller pulls it in. The Hornets shooting a nice 50% for the game. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Miller's got 14 points here in the second half. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect them to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plan. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Wallace. Three-pointer. And it's Thor with a rebound. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. The Gowans. The Thunder with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. Hayward finds Gilgis Alexander. Back to Hayward. Inside. Ed Williams gets the bucket on the assist by Hayward. Williams has got his first points of the game. 
Smith against Gilgis Alexander. Smith passes to Miller. Tipped away. Down low. Ooh, powered down with both hands. Yeah, the guard instincts of Gilgis Alexander. I mean, fantastic work dishing the rock to uncover teammates. Smith against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Miller. 4-3. Sinks the tray. Miller's got five points now in the quarter. He made three triples in the first half. Three more since then. I tell you what, you can't shake your head at that. Williams with the screen. Here's Hayward. Williams grabs the board. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Pass to Williams. Williams, a screen on Smith. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. And the Thunder lead by nine. Running the show, Gilgis Alexander is talented as a passer. Spins. Here's Smith. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Richards has checked in for Thor. Jalen Williams. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for one, Smith. Oklahoma City's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. SGA using that size. You know, they're looking good, really good right now because of him. He sees this game by the throat, and he's squeezing hard. Here's Miller. Giddy defends. Here's Smith. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. And that one's good. Giddy. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. Here's Joe. Outside, Williams. Pass to Giddy. Up and over Smith. And that one's good. Giddy. And now it's a 12-point Oklahoma City lead. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Here's Miller. The three, Smith. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Kid, he's got a sixth rebound on the night. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win Giddy. a little bit more. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. And the ball out of play. The Thunder will have it. And even losing big, you have to maintain composure if you want to avoid embarrassment. A different look for Oklahoma City. Holmgren comes in for Williams, and Williams is subbed in for Joe. And here's Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. For Charlotte, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Here's Bridges, and it's Bridges with the jam. Yes, sir, Bridges really asserting himself on offense. And when he's rolling like that, it gets his whole team fired up. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander, double team. Giddy passes to Holmgren, and that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Thunder able to keep possession, and the Thunder making a change here. Dortch checked in.
Here's Gilgis Alexander. Money on the 19-footer. Gilgis Alexander's got four points in the quarter. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Here's Mann. Misses the three. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's Jay actually sizing up, Alexander. shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances Lucas. throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. To the middle. Here's Mann. It's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Richards, the pass to Mann, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Giddy. First personal foul. Second team foul. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Gilgis Alexander's got 49 in the game. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Here's Mann. Bridges, right side. Six to shoot. Over Giddy. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That gives him a double-double. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Giddy passes to Holmgren. Outside Giddy. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Gilgis Alexander defending. Dort with a double team. Miller, the pass to Richards. And that one is stuffed right through. I love the throwback basketball. Work it down low and set up your teammate. Outside Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Williams. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Giddy. It's like he needed that halftime break to gather himself. Now he's starting to get his confidence back here. Here's Miller from deep three-point land. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Miller's got 37. Boy, the points really accumulating from three-point range. He had nine from distance in the first half, and he seems to only be getting better. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Back to Williams. Outside Giddy from the arc. Oh, the Thunder, another three. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Man, good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and another one. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. <laughs> and great awareness. Holmgren's so good at reading the movement of his teammates, a very heady passer for a big man. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander. 
This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. You think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. They just got to continue to play together. We'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. Now, here's Williams. Holmgren with a screen on Bridges. Pass to Holmgren from behind the arc. Oh, the Thunder, another three. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Bridges against Williams. Bridges outside. From deep. The Thunder with the rebound. Giddy's got seven rebounds in the game. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Thunder. They really had things going. Their offense carried them tonight, Graham. Yeah, B.A., tonight, simply they won the battle of the field goal percentage. I mean, it made all the difference. And another victory added to their resume. This will be their 53rd win of the year. And with just one game left to play between them, they've captured the first two meetings of the year. And believe you me, they'll be gunning for the sweep in that third meeting. And what a huge performance it was for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team, I mean, he was amazing tonight. Now here's Dort. Giddy finds Holmgren. Back to Giddy. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded closely. Williams from long range. The rebound by Mann. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Pass to Miller. Three-pointer. They grab their own miss. Here's Mann. So it's the Thunder taking care of business in this one. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that about wraps it up. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. Now our new balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.